Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to use a polygonal lasso tool. Um, there are a range of different lasso tools that you can use from, so if you look at the tools bar section, you can see there are several options. There's one which is just a lasso tool, which is simply like a freehand drawing where you create shapes. And the other one, which is a magnetic lasso tool, and it basically sticks to a contrasted outline between a dark and light, and it just sticks to creating another shape. Um, the most common um, lasso tool that we tend to use is the polygonal lasso tool because it just gives you a little bit more control and concise um, kind of shape that you want to create from. Um, the whole point of using this is when you want to create shapes uh, to add colour or some kind of filter to it or some form of layer, whether that's adjusting the overall look, or it could be to cut out shapes that you don't want to be in um, your layer. So today I'm going to show you one with this image in front of me, and the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate it. Click on that layer, and you're going to call it the main image. And uh, now you have two image, okay? So I want to use this background image where I'm going to create some uh, sort of abstract shapes to it later on. But the first thing I want to do is make this main image of the subject and I want to remove this background here, okay? So I'm going to select my polygonal lasso tool. Make sure your caps lock button is switched off. And all you're doing is you're going to zoom in and start drawing around the outline, okay? So control plus to zoom in, scroll across to find the outline you want to work from. I like to start from outside of the canvas and then start working my way around. Um, the best way to do is to make small steps. So one short mark and then click, click, click all the way through as you follow the outline of the subject's shirt. So here I'm doing it really quickly and not as neat as I should, but for you guys, you could just work your way up by making sure you make slower and shorter steps, okay? And just be very careful to not double click yet if you don't want to close that shape. So try to keep the clicks quite separated out and then don't worry as you reach the top you can just move up and it will just move along with you i guess around the hair is a little bit tricky so just get the main shape of the hair for now and then you can use some blending options and layer masking tools to refine it later on but for now let's just do like a rough sketch around the hair of the main body of the shape. And then go around like this, keep following the outlines, keep it controlled and accurate. And then you go around right to the end. And then what you could do is uh, control minus to zoom out. So you're gonna draw around the outside of the canvas like so so that you capture every single area. And then you will see a circular shape next to the polygonal lasso tool. That means it's to close the shape like so, okay? And then the next thing you want to do is select layer mask tool, okay? Now you can see a silhouette shown out where it's been cut out. You can invert that to be the other way around. So you press Control I. So if I switch this off just to give you an idea, Control that I again, it's to cut out the face and you can see that shape is all black. Stencils out. If you press Control I again, it removes the background like so. 
okay? And the next thing you want to do is I want this image to, you can use black and white filter instead, whichever filter you want to use based on the ex filter experiments that you've used. So for example, if I choose black and white, um, you can adjust the overall contrast using the toggle. Okay, then you need to right click on it and create a clipping mask so that paper clips to this layer where it doesn't affect the image below it, as you can see. So that's really important that you use a clipping mask when you apply one of these filters that you've used from previous lesson. So the next thing I wanna do is add some shapes to the background. So you're going to select the bottom layer and then press a new layer, which looks like a post-it note. And you're just gonna create a new layer and you're gonna call this background something like this. So I'm going to turn the eye off so that I ha have no distraction and you're going to use the polygonal lasso tool again and you're going to draw in some fragmented sort of shapes. Then you can use a paint bucket and you can use by selecting a colour in the foreground like this and you can paint it in. Now, it doesn't fully cover it, so that means the opacity is not fully 100%. So always look at your top options here in terms of what's been selected, and you can add it in again. So you've got one abstract shape there, okay? Um, and then if you want this shape to be the outline to stop moving around, just press Control D. And if you want to see what it looks like, you can just add the image back in by pressing the I button to see what it looks like. OK. Um, for each individual shape, it's best to create a new shape layer because later on um, you understand why, because we want to create some blending options with it. So I'm going to use this one as curved shapes. And the first one I'm going to use it for as uh, more angular shapes. I'm just going to rename that. That way you can define what is what. So for curved shapes, you can basically use the polygonal lasso tool again, but instead of the polygonal one, use a lasso tool, which is more of a drawing type. And you can just create shapes like that, join it up, get your paint bucket, select the colour you want on the foreground square, and I'm going to use a blue colour, something bright, and then click to fill up that shape okay and then eventually you should have something that looks a little bit like this where shapes been filled out i'll show you in the next video what you're going to do with the blending options so for now i want you to create shapes to your background like this make sure you've got a filter applied to it and you have stencils out the background okay